Hey guys, it's Ashley. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's build, we are building an Evergreen Harbor. This is the lot called Rockridge Springs, and this is going to be a Christmas-themed home for a set of grandparents raising their twin granddaughters. So I made this build specifically for this family, and I was thinking that the granddaughters are probably the child's age, like definitely not toddlers and not teens you could make the room pass for a teen bedroom there are some toys in there but i want to say i just used like the little fake toy box so i guess technically there's no real toys in there but i was thinking it was going to be for children sims and also i was thinking that these grandparents are going to be hosting christmas and maybe they host christmas every year so i wasn't entirely sure what I wanted the, I guess, story behind why the grandparents are raising the granddaughters to be, but I, I don't know, I couldn't help but, like, let my brain go to a very, like, morbid place. <laughs> like, I just feel like naturally it, there's usually some sort of negative reason as to why someone other than parents would be raising their children. Um, you know, whether it be like a money issue or something happened to the parents or one of the parents, whoever was originally raising the kids. And I was thinking that these grandparents have probably had the twins for, I don't know, I'd imagine at least a year or so because their bedroom is very tailored to them as well as their bathroom that they share upstairs with each other. Um, we'll get into that later, obviously, but yeah, I was just thinking that these granddaughters have been living with them for a while, and they were probably already close before. I was thinking that maybe the girls were just living with their dad originally, because when I went into actually, like, playtest this house, I moved in the family that I thought would be perfect for this, so I did move in a set of grandparents and twin granddaughters. And what I did basically was I just grabbed some grandparents off of the gallery from some other creator. Shout out to whoever you are. I really have no idea. I just downloaded like one of the first set of grandparents that I saw that I felt looked like they kind of fit this home. And then what I did was I created a son through genetics um, between the two grandparents. And then from there, I had the dad basically, or I like, oh my gosh, what am I trying to say? And then I like messed with the genetics for him to have children that would look sort of like him, therefore like looking like one of the grandparents, if that makes any sense. I'm so bad at explaining things, but that's what I did. And then that way too, they would automatically just be um, biologically related to the grandparents. On top of that, I thought that this family deserved a little pet. So I don't often place like smaller dogs in families and my parents have only small dogs so I was like let's let's do some small dogs so there is one small dog with this uh household but basically I end up creating this home in I wanted to do it in Evergreen Harbor because this specific um I guess save file of mine I haven't played in really this is pretty much just like my building save file so I'm constantly like bulldozing lots and stuff like that and so I don't really ever work on Evergreen Harbor making it like you know more industrial or more green so it comes basically as is where it's you know I want to say it's more on the industrial side so there's some garbage outside and I was thinking although this neighborhood looks slightly run down it still can have some charm to it so I felt like that's one reason why I wanted to build here and also to make it like a Christmassy themed home so as you may have noticed on the outside the exterior I guess siding that we use for the outside of the house is a bit more run down I want to say that that specific wallpaper is from Island Living and I just used it in like this I don't know kind of like faded uh, rustic looking uh, paneling and I think it looks good I mean it's a bit too monotone but at the same time I feel like this house is a bit old it's been here for a very long time as many of the homes in this specific neighborhood are in my opinion and the grandparents haven't really done much to renovate it except they've added a few touches for the grandkids of course 
and then they've just managed to keep the inside of the home really nice and neat but the outside i wouldn't even say that the outside looks run down because it still does look rather cute in my opinion i will say though i don't quite know what <laughs> this house will look like during any other seasons other than winter so when we actually do landscaping it is winter so all of the plants look dead i don't end up using any sort of terrain paint if you are familiar with this lot or if you've noticed at all the outside of this lot it's very much like already detailed when it comes to the terrain anyhow so i figured it was okay to leave um i do end up landscaping with some plants and stuff but i don't place any dirt under there which i would typically do but I was intending for this home to be used in the winter time, therefore probably some heavy snow or at least some light snow covering the ground and all the plants will be dead and basically bare. So I didn't really think too much about the landscaping, which was honestly kind of a nice mental break for me because I'm not really that fond of landscaping. So I just feel like it's I don't know it's just not one of my strong suits i love cluttering and i love building and floor plans can be fun once i have like a general idea of what i want to do but landscaping not so much but as you can see we basically put together the floor plan we don't end up putting together the floor plan upstairs on camera i don't think and if we do it's super quick because fun fact i actually built basically the same exact house in the past i want to say it is somewhere on my channel if not it is or at least i thought i had shared it at one point in the gallery but basically this house was or is based on a house in a video game called detroit if you guys are familiar with it it's like a robot futuristic style game basically um that's really just the gist of it but there is a house in it that you basically like you start off in and this is the house except this is the way more charming version like the outside of the house is kind of similar where it looks a little bit more run down and kind of like shabby a little bit but um the inside is definitely a lot more cheery because in the video game it's really drab and it's like a daughter just living with her dad who's like an alcoholic like it's just like it's not something that I wanted to recreate for the holidays necessarily and uh, I just wanted to make it I don't know very Christmassy and use as many different like Christmas decorations and things like that so as you guys may have noticed I kind of hopped around a little bit I was adding in just like random little details and touches from the different I was gonna say debug menu but I don't think any of the decorations I used are actually from debug I think they're all just from like the regular catalog but as you can see the kitchen is pretty much put together now we are done with the dining room and I just even though like I was thinking that this uh, set of grandparents this family this household whatever you want to say is hosting Christmas I didn't place too many places oh my gosh too many chairs or places for sims to sit to actually like have like a formal sit down meal together um but i was still thinking that maybe they have some family come over and celebrate with them and their granddaughters i was thinking that they probably only have one child themselves and that's probably the child that maybe passed away like i said earlier i was thinking maybe they had a son who therefore had these uh daughters and i really didn't think any further about the second parent or anything like that but i was thinking that the son Therefore, the twins' uh, dad passed away somehow, tragically, not really sure. I didn't think too far into that part because, again, it's kind of morbid to think that. But this is like a realistic and very, um, yeah, real situation that unfortunately happens in some people's lives. So I wanted to bring some light to it, though, and make it like a very cheery household, although there has been some tragedy, you know, for... The family and let's move on from the sadness of this build because this build in my opinion is not sad at all like i said it is very cheery it very much fits in with the christmas theme it's very i don't know it's just kind of a nice home and as much as i do intend for this home to be pretty much exclusively used right around the holidays like christmas 
Um, I think that this house would be a lot of fun to utilize otherwise as well. When it comes to the backyard though, like I mentioned, I don't do much landscaping. There's really not much in the backyard either because again, I was thinking that you're going to be playing with this in some snow and you don't really probably want to go outside too, too much um, when it's super cold out. So I figured your Sims would probably be inside, you know, drinking hot chocolate, watching movies, um, I don't know, curling up by the fire, baking, cooking, all that good stuff. But since we're kind of talking about like cooking and baking and all that, let's get into some characteristics I was thinking for the family members. So let's start off with the grandfather. I didn't think too heavily about him and his personality and hobbies and things like that, but I was thinking that he is into reading. So as you can see, we placed lots of books down in the living room. And I was thinking that he's probably into fishing as well. He's just very much an old soul. Um, quite literally, he's an elder. So um, he enjoys fishing in his free time. I'm thinking that both of the grandparents are retired or, you know, maybe they do like little errands here and there or like little side jobs, odd jobs things like that, um, if they want to make any, like, little extra money, but I'm thinking that they're pretty, like, well off in the sense that they were good about saving money before, you know, they retired from their jobs and things like that, and then for the grandmother, I was thinking that it would be nice for her to really be into cross-stitching and knitting and probably baking as well, so I did place down lots of different uh, clutter pieces in the kitchen to make it look like it's very lived in and it's constantly being used. I placed down, you know, some of the new um, cluster of cups, the mugs from the Everyday Clutter Kit, which I really, really like. I think I placed down the, like, more dirty swatch one because I was just thinking that both these grandparents probably drink tea on, not on occasion, um, pretty often. I don't place down like a teapot or anything. I place down a coffee pot. So, but I was just thinking it would be kind of fun for them to just, I don't know, be more into tea personally. When I think of the holidays, I do think of coffee like with dessert and stuff, but I don't know for, there's something about like elderly Sims that make me think that they're more into tea. I don't, I don't really know why. And tea is a little bit more fun in The Sims because you can make so many different flavors of tea that, you know, give your Sims different moodlets and whatnot. But I placed on the dirty swatch because I was just thinking that they drink coffee and or tea a lot and they've just had these mugs for a very long time. So over time, they just, you know, gradually get stained. And I don't know, it's just a really fun piece. I do end up placing another I think another dirty mug in the grandparents' bedroom on the grandmother's side table. And then I think that's pretty much it for the grandmother. They do have a chicken coop out back, but I'm thinking maybe during the winter it's like out of commission. I don't know. Maybe or just maybe they used to have chickens and they don't anymore. But you do have the option for uh, having chickens on this lot if you so please. And then for the granddaughters, since we are decorating their room, it's a bit on point. So this room is very bright and cheery. So they definitely are just very like girly and feminine in my opinion. And you know, love the color pink, love the color purple. They love playing with their toys. They don't have a ton of toys in here, but they, you know, they have this giant stuffed cat. They have like the little decorative toys over in the corner. Um, I don't think I placed, yeah, I don't think I placed on any toys, but I don't know, maybe they're, you know, moving more toward like a preteen age or something, even though that's not, unfortunately, an age in The Sims. I really hope it becomes one, but I will say I'm very excited about infants coming into The Sims in the, you know, sometime next year in 2023. I'm really looking forward to that because babies are just so like, whatever. I don't know. They're they're very easy to take care of, but it kind of makes sense because it's literally just an object that like, you know, gets unhappy every now and then. Um, so I am excited for the challenge that infants will bring in the new year. I'm really curious as to when they're going to add infants into the game. I mean, it'll be very obvious because I think they'll talk about it and there will be a huge patch update and all that. Unless it gets released with a pack, I'm really not sure how they're going to go about it. It would be nice if they just put it into the actual base game, but we'll see. And 
anyway, I'm just like cluttering up this dresser in the girl's room. I thought it'd be nice if they had a fish. I don't know. It just seems like a nice little like practice pet for them to have. I mean, again, there is a dog on this lot, at least in my game, but, um, I don't know. It's just something that they can personally take care of. It's their own personal pet. Oh shoot. Whoopsies. My bad. Hopefully that didn't hurt your guys' ears. Um, we are just finishing the final like little touches in the girl's bedroom. I think we just hang a couple of little cute pieces of artwork above the bed. We have one new piece from the pastel pop kit that goes really well in here. As you can see, we actually use lots of pastel pop kit in here and we use quite a few items from the everyday clutter kit as well. I just love a lot of the pieces in there. There's a few that I'm just like, eh, I'm not really going to use that. It's like the decorative wall mounted piece with like the hat. And I think maybe there's like a shoe on it or something. Um, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of that. And there's like this little snack tray, which is definitely a cool idea, but I just don't see myself using it in many builds, even though it is like an everyday clutter piece. I just, I just see like the mugs, the water bottle, um, the little trinket box, things like that being used way more often. Um, maybe it's just my build style. I'm not really sure, but now we've hopped into what I would imagine or what I do imagine is the girls shared bathroom. So again, I mean, they're sharing a bedroom and I think they get along just fine. So sharing a bedroom and a bathroom, is probably not a huge inconvenience or, you know, annoying living factor for them so I do make it very cutesy very pink and purple and colorful yet again it I feel like it kind of matches their room and their personalities um for the girls personalities I feel like there's room to grow because again I imagine that they're children but I was thinking that one of the girls would be creative and the other is maybe more into you know like uh I can't remember actually if I made her into if I wanted her to be more into like building her motor skills or building her social skills i really can't remember i don't place too many like very specific items for their bedroom or anything like that that make it seem like they're super creative or not which now that i think about it one of the girls is definitely like has a creative i can't remember if that's like her aspiration or if it's just one of her characteristics but um I didn't place down anything for them to be creative. So I guess that's the only thing that maybe I would have changed in retrospect. But as you can see, we've moved on into the master bathroom. So this is connected. It's an ensuite bathroom to the grandparents' bedroom. And I basically just copy and pasted uh, everything except, you know, I gave them counters in here instead of just like a standalone sink. I do love using standalone sinks though. I just feel like it kind of like brings out the, like, I don't know, it kind of just shows that whatever build you place them in, it's like an older build in my opinion. And I just think that they just, you can make them look rather charming, even though I feel like some people may not be as into the standalone sinks, but we are now into their master bedroom. And I use quite a few items from the cottage living pack in here. And I think pretty much like the full furniture set from cottage living is in here and like i mentioned i was thinking that the grandmother is into cross stitching and knitting so i place you know some very typical um items like that over here i get a clock a lamp here's the dirty mug with like the little tea bag hanging out of it i love that and then since i was thinking the grandpa is into reading and fishing we will give him a book and a journal and i think i give him the water bottle from the everyday clutter kit as well so they each just kind of have their own personalized side table which i feel is super super realistic and right here i'm struggling to figure out exactly what wallpaper to use i think we settle on this one and i won't say settle i think it looks pretty good and like I mentioned earlier too, I feel like they haven't done many renovations to this house. So as you can see, it's rather dated. You know, the bedrooms have carpet in them, which I very rarely do unless I'm making a super realistic home, which I feel like this definitely fits into that category. But for this one, I wasn't as much going for realism as I was going for just like slightly outdated. And I wanted it to be obvious that, I don't know, that like grandparents lived here or just like an older couple lives here. And then we placed down a pet bed for what I imagined would be their little dog. Their little dog probably sleeps in here every night with them. And then I'm just getting some clutter pieces up on the wall, hopping down into the kitchen really quick and placing some aprons. So 
I, like I said earlier, the grandma is probably always cooking and baking. And maybe one of the granddaughters likes to join in every now and then and help b uh, bake or cook. <laughs> I almost said book. Um, especially for the holidays. I thought it would be like a nice bonding opportunity for you know, any of the family members to all bake together or cook together, especially since I imagined they would be hosting Christmas or Christmas Eve here with their other extended family. And now we just have to decorate this very narrow hallway. I do like it though how simple this hallway is because the downstairs is rather busy and it was kind of nice to like I don't know, just not have to worry about cluttering like crazy. And I mean, really, what do you put in a hallway? You know what I mean? Like, I thought about putting a vacuum in here, but then we have the laundry room downstairs and I didn't even end up placing a vacuum anyway. I honestly always forget about the vacuum. Like, I used to use it a lot, but I don't use it anymore. And I think I actually turned off the function from the bust the bust the dust kit if you guys aren't familiar but you probably are because that actually came out a while ago it was like one of the first kits or I think it was one of the first kits to be released but the bust the dust kit I used a lot in the beginning and then I started getting really annoyed with the dust bunnies and with all the dust because a lot of my sims for whatever reason just end up being like just more like clean freaks and personally I vacuum a lot so I thought it would be a fun function to have but then I just got sick of it like really quickly but um I don't know if you guys heard that my son in the background my husband is watching him while I do this voiceover I say that like he never like hangs out with him he does but this was an agreement we had I was like hey after this next nap I'm gonna feed him and then you take over from there I'll do my voiceover and I can just edit it later like I need to get this out before Christmas <laughs> so um if you guys are listening to this the day it comes out this is coming out the day before Christmas Eve so yeah what do you guys celebrate around this time of year do you celebrate all of the holidays do you celebrate just Christmas and Christmas Eve do you open your gifts on Christmas Eve or Christmas morning or both do you celebrate Hanukkah do you celebrate Kwanzaa I don't know um or like I said do you celebrate like multiple different holidays around this time of year and then I'm assuming probably New Year's as well my husband and I we started dating technically on uh New Year's Day so we used to do a lot right around New Year's Day and actually this year we are we're taking our son to Bodega Bay if you're not familiar of uh or with Bodega Bay it is in the Northern California region of California <laughs> it's like it's in NorCal and um my husband's family some family members live out there his grandma lives out there therefore our son's great grandma who it's like really cool that he was able to actually meet. And then now that I think about it too, um, he has a great grandfather on my mom's side. So he actually has two great grandparents that he's been able to meet, which I think is really cool. I personally was also able to meet two of my great grandparents as well as a child. And okay, I have like rambled on too far and we are into the screenshots. So Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're still watching, please stick around for the screenshots. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit that post notification bell so you're aware of when I post. I'm trying to do once a week, but I think I may have to step back and do like once every other week. Like so once every two weeks. Um, we will see. But anyway, I hope you guys really enjoy the holidays if you're celebrating. And I will see you in the next build. Bye.
crazy. You're not so but so. Those are six to nine months. Yeah, that's big. Harlow. He's a normal barlow, a boo 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 boo. He's a widow boo 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 boo. In the six months, I think that'll work out just fine for us in you. God. I married a psychopath.